Hi friends, uh, good morning everyone. I hope all of you are doing good. If you came to our channel for the first time, click on subscribe button. In this video, I'm going to tell you about two important terminologies which look similar. One is SOW, another one is segregation of duty. So uh, SOW means scope of work. Uh, you, for example, that uh, pre-sales team is working for uh, a new project and they're uh, talking to different clients and explaining about that IT company and uh, they understand their business and how many months it can take to complete the project and how approximately what will be the budget, the IT cost to do that uh, implementation, what will be the uh, efforts from the business, okay, uh, how many people have to work as a process owners and uh, project manager and all and total they design the work, like uh, what is scope of work how much work you need to be done. It's for a grand implementation. If you take it in small activity, for example, you are working as a support consultant and uh, you are dealing with a client for a new requirement. At that time also you use this SOW, like what exactly the work and how many consultants are required to complete that activity. Or uh, what are the modules are involved in? Okay, you're working as MM consultant. That implementation or the respect to uh, new functionality needs SD, and finance also. So what is the scope of work? Is there any developments are available? If there are developments and how, how much uh, ABAP mandates are required. So the scope of work means uh, if you are doing any enhancement or if you're doing a small mini project or if you're doing a new implementation or uh, you're going to do any kind of enhancement, what is the scope of work? Uh, list of modules and number of days. In that category, use the word SOW. So what is this uh, segregation of duty? So segregation of duty, uh, you can say like uh, segregation of duty you hear uh, when we are working for a uh, basis, okay, like security, like a few companies may be basis security mixing, but uh, let's talk about the segregation of duty when you are working in the roles. Let's take an example. Okay, scope of work we have given, uh, like I explained, uh, new projects, or uh, new enhancements, or if you're going to do uh, any kind of um, new functionality you are introducing, okay? So or else, uh, training activities, what are the different modules and all, you will decide the scope of work. So when it comes to segregation of duty, uh, segregation of duty, you are going to work for the roles matrix, right? Like what are the roles required and what uh, if you're working as a MM consultant, and uh, you are dealing with the purchasing, in purchasing, how many roles are there? Purchasing manager, purchasing executive clerk, inventory clerk, inventory like uh, warehouse manager. Okay, and uh, any uh, admin, everyone creates the purchase requisitions. So you're working for the different, different roles. Okay, if you're working as the SD consultant, then you will have like a sales manager, okay, and the sales division head, or uh, you will have that uh, sales department, okay, maybe clerk, they call it as a sales clerk, or else uh, they will call like a sales executive, sales officer, whatever, different, different roles you are working. So the, what is the segregation of duty, the SOD conflict, okay, segregation of duty, SOD conflicts, this is the uh, word you will use it, what is the SOD conflict? So during assigning the roles, you need to ensure that that conflicts are not happening. Otherwise, uh, the respective auditor can uh, identify and they will uh, uh, inform you that you have to remove the access for these users. Okay. So this SOD, you will work with SAP, security or GRC consultants. So for example, as an MM consultant, I will give you one example. One, so for the purchase clerk. Purchasing clerk create creation of PO and okay creation of PO and approval of PO must not be given for the same user for a purchasing clerk. You should not give, uh, oh, it's completely changed. So you should not give the, for purchasing clerk, you should not give creation of PO and approval of PO should not be given. Let's take it one as the example, sales officer. Okay. 
creation of SO and if you have any approval process, approval of SO must not be given. So let's take it uh, warehouse clerk. His work is doing the goods receipt. Goods receipt of PO and PO change access must not be given. You can see that contradictory. So I'm creating the PO, I should not be the approver. I'm creating the SO, I should not be the approver. I, I can do the goods receipt against the PO, but I should not have access to the changing PO, like quantity change or price change. Okay, M E twenty two and access should not be given. So there are some SOD conflicts will be there. So when you are uh, dealing with the role, we need to ensure that uh, level of uh, understanding so that it will be helpful for you uh, to avoid uh, SOD conflicts and getting a lot of audit questions. Then you have to do a lot of rework to do the uh, removal of uh, you have to remove this approval of SO or removal of approval of PO so that that SOD conflicts will come down, okay? So they will have a certain kind of a conflict transactions and then they will run that um, program or uh, verifying all the transactions. They can easily find out if any role which is having both creation of PO and approval of PO, they will ask that security team to segregate creation of PO role should be different, approval of PO role should be different. So that approval of PO can be assigned to that approvers and creation should be assigned to the people who have creation access. Okay. If you're keeping both in the same role, then what will happen? You cannot, uh, that role will be assigned to the one user. So the user can do both. So that is SOD, segregation of duty. We need to segregate, purchasing clerk has to create the PO and the approval should be done by the purchasing manager. So sales officer can create a SO, but the approval should be done by the sales manager. So in that way, you need to ensure it. I hope uh, in this video, you learned uh, two important technologies which we use in any implementation or any support or any kind of a project. If you like the video, uh, you can just share with your friends. Thanks for watching.